All right, today we have a 2013 Ford F-150 5-liter uh, valve body. It's a 6R80. And I'm going to be changing out the lead frame, okay, because of a code P0720, output speed sensor. Uh, the customer claims at times uh, when he would, like, take off from a red light or whatever the case may be, it would seem like it would have no power. So obviously it's in fail-safe and starting out in a higher gear. Uh, Alright, so what we'll do is I have the I have the new one, you know, that I got uh, uh, straight out of Ford. It got delivered to me uh, uh, last night. And we'll go over what's on this lead frame, or Ford calls it a connector, you can call it a conductor plate. Uh, but the computer is not in here. Uh, on the earlier models, on the 6R 60s, uh, the computer was incorporated in this, but then they eliminated that. You know, I'm not sure what year. Uh, I'm going to say maybe 2010, 2011. I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, but let me get a little closer, and we'll just go over what's on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unbolt it. It's held on with six bolts, and we're going to swap it out. Um, and that's about it. We're going to talk about, um, you know, even the uh, solenoids, how you just can't you know, swap out solenoids. Um, I think they got a pretty good rate, you know, rate for a uh, success rate of being good, but they're calibrated different, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, all right, so let me get a little closer and we're gonna sw switch out this um, uh, plate. Okay, so this uh, lead frame is held in with six bolts. Uh, so we're going to unbolt that. Um, I, you know, I just wanted to mention one thing before we do. Um, the bolts that hold the valve body uh, against the case uh, are a T30 socket. And the, and the bolts that hold the valve body halves together are a T27 socket. So I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so we got six bolts holding this lead frame on. So we got one, two, three, four, and should be these two, five, six. Okay, so let's do that. See how easy this comes off. All right, so now we'll just kind of go over what's on the new one. You know, what the point out what the um, sensors and stuff like that. This, you know, back in when these first came out, I'm thinking maybe uh, depending on the engine size, it might have been as early as I think 2006. Uh, these used to have the TCM incorporated in them, uh, but not anymore, they've moved it. Uh, it's now part of the PCM, but I think that lasted, uh, I think maybe 2010, I'm gonna say, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, this does not have the TCM in it uh, anymore, you know, this late model, 2013. Okay, so, all right, this lead frame here is your input speed sensor. Okay, here is your output speed sensor. This right here is your temp sensor. And right here is, you know, kind of like your ring switch that hooks up to the manual valve that slides. And your uh, blades for the solenoids. 
Okay, and here's a couple of uh, guide pins. So pretty much the the output sensor and the input sensor, they're uh, um, Hall effect uh, sensors, and they help with shift strategy, um, torque converter clutch operation, same as the transmission oil temp sensor. Um, you know, help with shift strategy and converter clutch operation. Also, the input, let me just turn my lights on. You know, the, the input and output speed sensor, you know, the computer compares those two uh, for gear ratio as well. Um, so, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to install the new one and pretty much bolt it back up. And then there's um, one other thing that I wanted to mention when you drop the valve body, uh, a thermal element comes out, which I have, and I'll show you the. Uh, correct way that that goes in. Now these solenoids, uh, it's a whole big thing with these solenoids. You got to go by, the, I think there's a band number on these solenoids. Also there is a number etched in the valve body. There is a number etched in the side of the case. It's a whole big thing, but you can't just be, um, you know, you got to go by the, uh, I believe the part. If you want to change the individual solenoid, I believe you go by the part number, but if you want to change the valve body, then I think you have to go by um, possibly the, the, the numbers, uh, the production numbers, or I forget actually what the technical name is. Uh, but you got to be careful with that. And then, of course, you would have to uh, download the program. You know, you got to go to the Ford website and program it so the flow rates are correctly, uh, are correct, and stuff like that. It's a pretty big deal. But I think these solenoids have a, a, a pretty good. Um, success rate. You know, I haven't heard too much of them going bad. But I just wanted to make you aware of that as well. You gotta be careful. Uh, be careful when doing that. Alright, so let's put this new lead frame on and I uh, gotta catch the uh, manual valve there for that uh, slide switch to work. Okay, this should go right on. All right, let's position this manual valve here. Okay, very nice. Make sure this is on. So let's uh, bolt this down here quick. All right, so my manual valve is caught. And
All right, you know what? I just want to look up. Uh, just give me one second. I want to see if I can find the torque spec. Okay, so the torque spec uh, to hold the lead frame to the valve body is uh, 63 inch pounds, which is what I have it set to. Okay, it's tight. I just want to turn this over and tell you one more thing. Uh, when you take the bolts out and you drop the valve body out, okay, so here's the input speed sensor, okay, and this, and here is the manual valve that works this slide piece right behind here. All right, when you drop the valve body out, this is going to fall out when you take the valve body out, okay, it is the thermal element that goes in the case, and it's going to sit probably right about here, you know, up in the case, you'll see the hole, um, and the spring is going to go in first. The spring will go in first and then the element, so it's going to go up in the case just like that. You know, it'll sit um, probably like right around this area, but again, you'll see where it drops out from. All right, so I just did want to mention that. Uh, again, I'm going to be changing the uh, bridge seal. I'm also going to be changing the sleeve here, the mechatronic sleeve or the pass-through sleeve, the one that always leaks like on the 6HP 26s and 19s. I'm going to be changing that. Uh, and I guess that's about it. So again, we have a 2013 uh, Ford F-150 with a 5.0. And the reason why we changed out this lead frame is because of a P0720 output speed sensor. And it would put the car into failsafe. Uh, so this should take care of it. There's actually, I believe there actually is a TSB on it. And this should fix it up. So that is it for this one. I'm going to um, actually put this aside for now. I've got a few other things i got to do, and then I'm going to hang this in a little bit. Um, but I thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. We'll see you next one.